Uh, good morning, Just a Voice uh, subscribers. I am actually uh, in a brand new location today. I moved yesterday. I'm in a different, not only a different location, a whole different state, a whole different part of the country. Um, so I'm not exactly, I'm in my new apartment. I'm not sure where I'm going to be doing my readings. Uh, so we'll, um, we'll figure this out as we go along. But uh, for this morning, Morning by Morning by Charles Haddon Spurgeon, April the 30th. And all the children of Israel murmured. Numbers 14.2. There are murmurers amongst Christians now, as there were in the camp of Israel of old. There are those who, when the rod falls, cry out against the afflictive dispensation. They ask, why am I thus afflicted? What have I done to be chastened in this manner? A word with thee, O murmurer. Why wouldst thou murmur against the dispensations of thy heavenly Father? Can he treat thee more hardly than thou deservest? Consider what a rebel thou wast once. But he has pardoned thee, surely, if he in his wisdom sees fit now to chasten thee, thou shouldest not complain. After all, thou art hardly smitten as thy sins deserve. Consider the corruption which is in thy breast, and then wilt thou wonder that there needs so much of the rod to fetch it out. Weigh thyself, and discern how much dross is mingled with thy gold. And dost thou think the fire too hot to purge away so much dross as thou hast? Does not that proud, rebellious spirit of thine prove that thy heart is not thoroughly sanctified? Are not those murmuring words contrary to the holy, submissive nature of God's children? Is not the correction needed? But if thou wilt murmur against the chastening, take heed, for it will go hard with murmurers. God always chastises his children twice if they do not bear the first stroke patiently. But no one thing. He doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. All his corrections are sent in love to purify thee and to draw thee nearer to himself. Surely it must help thee to bear the chastening with resignation if thou art able to recognize thy Father's hand. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure with chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. Murmur not as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer.